a record high. Here's a record for you. For the first time ever, the Colorado Senate has rejected the proposed budget. Lawmakers were supposed to introduce the proposed 2010 budget today, but instead they kicked it back to committee. Lawmakers need to cut $700 million from the budget. The proposed plan was to cut $300 million from higher education. The Senate President, Peter Groff, says the budget cannot be balanced on the backs of students. Well, that potential reprieve was welcome news for higher education. In fact, we're joined by Dr. Nancy McCallan, who's the president of the Colorado Community College System. Thank you for being with us. Thank you for having me. You're facing a 60%, more than 60% budget cut. You've got to be watching this very carefully over at the Senate. Well, we are. We're very concerned because as the bill was introduced, we have a 63% drop in our funding. <sighs> That's amazing. So what are you going to do about it? Well, if that drop remains, I mean, we have nothing to do but to start looking at closing colleges, start looking at cutting off access to higher education, increasing tuition rates. By our estimates, we'll lose $91 million if the budget remains as it was as introduced. And truly, you can only raise tuition so much, but is that still on the table in terms of just preserving what you have and, and being able to provide the education that you are now? Clearly, we estimate that in order to offset this cut, we would have to increase tuition by 65 to 70 percent. That means that about 18,000 students who otherwise would come to community colleges for retraining no longer would. That must have given you some encouragement to see the Senate president say, you know, we're not going to balance this on the backs of education anymore. Will it really happen? I mean, will they really be able to stave this off? I don't know. Right now, it's my understanding they are debating the budget bills and are, are looking at debating the long bill, which has the $300 million cut for higher education, the 63% cut for us. And looking forward to future budgets as well, I mean, the reductions this year and the cuts to higher ed, does that set a dangerous benchmark for the future as well going forward? Well, the reductions this year, if that $300 million cut remains, it's devastating for us. It means that within the next year, we will have to look at whether or not we can keep open colleges, and it would equate for community colleges for anywhere between four and nine colleges would be closing. Well, seven news, and of course you will be watching this very carefully to see what's going on at the Senate tonight and if there's a special session this summer. You bet. All right. Thanks very much, Dr. Nancy McCallan of the Colorado Community College System. Thank you for joining Thank us. Thank you. So we are getting your feedback now on all this. Should state lawmakers cut $300 million from higher education to balance the budget? Julia in Parker has emailed us. She says, getting a degree is no longer a rare commodity or a luxury. It is an absolute necessity for a good living. We need all the money we can get. And Marco in Fort Collins writes, higher education should not be a sacred cow. They can share the pain with the rest of us. Still time to weigh in. Just go to the DenverChannel.com. Click on that Your Feedback Now button on the right side of your screen.